getting ready to head to Gateway Subaru, get that oil change this morning. Still not really awake. It's look good though. Okay, we are we are ready to go to get our oil changed and tires rotated and see what sort of extras they can come up with that would make sense for a trip to Florida and back. Alright, good news. We got this from Napa, which is only like two seconds walking from my house. Very good. And we've topped it off and now we're heading to Gateway Subaru. So at the dealership, we decided to get uh, four new tires and we did a brake flush and of course the oil change. And the car's basically 100% good to go for another 80,000 miles. And now I feel pretty confident and safe heading down, you know, a couple thousand miles over the next few weeks. It's, you know, I don't need to have any incidents that I can possibly avoid. So check in the box. Thank you for watching Daisy. I know she's going to have a good time with you guys and all her toys. And now it's time to convert these piles of loosely organized items into a packed car ready to leave first thing in the morning. This is actually a lot easier than when we flew to Miami a few months ago. Uh, you can't really carry as much with you. So we've laid out uh, one, two, three training days worth of gear. We're going to pack it into that bag. We're going to go ahead and bring the shoes that we run in the rain just in case. Now last year in Miami we we used a water bottle so we're going to go ahead and bring that one there. Oh, we're going to have an intermission and talk about traveling pants. Alright. I forgot I bought them last year. This has been brought to you by Traveling Pants. Okay, we're back. So there's the water container we're going to bring. And there's the shoes we're going to run in. And some compression gear. Because remember, two weeks after is the ultra marathon. So we want to go ahead and be extra cautious. We've got some music and some metrics. Then if it's cold, last year it was 40 degrees and windy. And so we've got some sleeves and gloves just in case. And then we have a towel. And this, this phone case here has a pocket for, you can put you know cash and ID and stuff in there. Cause you know, every after party you're like, oh, I need cash, oh. That makes it easier to deal with. And then we have a simulated 
gear check bag. The actual bag is supposed to be clear. So we've got socks to change into, uh, some muscle milk for after, and flip-flops, which we'll change into immediately after. And then once we get cold, we'll throw those socks on and probably put these shoes back on. It's possible I'll, I'll bring my walking shoes, but not quite likely. We'll see. And then, of course, pants for beforehand. We'll wear those to the gear check and probably wear them until the bitter end since we'll be cold at that time. So that's going to take care of the, the remainder of the training and the actual running of the race for the Miami Marathon. We'll, of course, have laundry um, that we'll be doing it at Megan's house. So, you know. It's not like we're only going to run two more times. <laughs> Actually got quite a bit of mileage left to put down. Go ahead and pack all this into the running bag. And then we'll get started on the vitamins and supplements bag. The training and race bag is packed on the left. And the recovery bag is packed on the right. The washer's just finished getting some other clothes done and we're going to go ahead and take that out now. Okay, the supplement bag is packed with the vitamins and the camera bag is, is there. That's actually our sort of our main go-to bag now with iPad and laptop. Tripod standing by. This is the miscellaneous odds and end bag. I don't know what goes in there, but everything else goes in is there. Is this all gonna fit in your little car? Yeah. I don't think so. That will all fit in the back seat right behind me. Um, you won't even notice it. Do you have any bags you can wear and put in the Miscellaneous bag is ready. While checking notes, we also remembered we needed a stick of deodorant for the bag check bag for obvious reasons. Only the most uninteresting items remain. Items for the bathroom. You know, toothbrush, toothpaste, shaver, and uh, actual clothes that we're going to wear every day, pants and shirts. But that wasn't where my stress came from. Not at all. That's easy to do.